This is Thames from London. Good morning and welcome to our programmes for today. It's Christmas Tuesday, the 27th of December. Programmes for Christmas Tuesday morning here on Thames. At 9.50, we're transported to wartime Vienna and a courageous bid to save the Spanish riding school's priceless Lipizzana horses. In Disney's The Miracle of the White Stallions. That's followed at 11.35 by Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day. And at 12 noon, Derek Beatty's back with a new series of Mr and Mrs, followed by the news from ITN at 12.30. We begin, though, with the Teabag's Christmas Cracker. It is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, look at the time, look at the time, look at the time. Oh, where are those elves? There's so much to do and no one to help me. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. You there. <coughs> yes, you. Father Christmas, Santa Claus, whatever your name is. Freeze. Hello. Who are you? And how did you get in here? None of your business, Fuzzface. I need you. Oh, well, I'd love to stop and have a chin wag and to show you all over the place. But it's the time, you see. There just isn't the time. I don't believe this. All right, then. You are in my power now. You are under my command. You will do everything I say without question. I have a wonderfully wicked plan, and you are going to help me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know what you mean. What? You see, I'm not in your power. I never was and I never will be. So if you'd be so kind as to leave and let me get on with my work, whoever you are. I am the great Tallulah bag. I don't care if you're the great paper bag. So if you'll excuse me. <laughs> blast and curse and blast again. Even my monstrous magic is no match against a goody-goody like that. I've got to nobble him before the night's out. But how? Elves? Elves, where are you? Elves? Elves? Now there's a thought. I like it. Now then. T-shirt, come on, quickly. Do I have to? T-shirt? I feel like a twit. Here. Look at the state in me. What's all this about, eh? Listen carefully, there's something I want you to do for me. Ah, ah, here we go again. What is it this time? See this sack? What's in it? If it's anything nasty, I'm not interested. Oh, don't be like that. This is for you. Tell me what's in it. It's a surprise. Open it. It's empty. Is it? Festive greetings, girls and boys. Throw aside those other toys. Listen now as I intone a Christmas message of my own. Every minute, every hour, you'll be helpless in my power. You will serve me one and all, always at my beck and call. Leave all joyous thoughts behind. Close the lid and close your mind. I am in your power, O oh great and wondrous majesty. I'm very glad to hear it. Right, what do I do? I want one of these merry surprise packages delivered tonight to every child in the land. How you do that? I won't be doing it. That bewhiskered old fool will do it for me. Santa Claus? Exactly. Delivering your boxes instead of his toys. Precisely. So all the children in the world will be under your power. Absolutely right, my cheeky-faced little chum. Oh, oh isn't it a simply wonderful thought? Quiet. He's coming back. Remember, he must deliver that sack instead of his own. Do your stuff. I'm late, I'm late. Ah, there you are. And where are the others? Eh? Oh, never mind. Some help you've been, I don't think. Yes, but... You elves, you're never here when I need you, you never come when I call, and you never do what I say. Yes, but... Look at the time. I should have left one hour ago. Yes, but... It is not right, it is not right, but I am going now, no thanks to you. Oh, would you be asking too much, do you suppose, if there was a nice hot cup of cocoa waiting for me when I get back? Santa! What? 
Let me help you load up your sleigh. What are you blathering about? You mustn't forget your toys. All my toys are already on the sleigh. Oh, you daft little blighter. Anyway, goodbye, I'm off. But Santa... I'm late, I'm late. Don't go! Santa, wait! You stupid boy. He wouldn't listen. You should have made him listen. Oh, you're hopeless. Look, I could put on a Santa suit and deliver your boxes for you. I could do that myself, you little fool. But now I'll have to stop that fat goody-goody from delivering all that good cheer to all those little ones. But it's too late. He's already gone off on his deliveries. Indeed. But there's more than one way to pickle a walnut T-shirt. See this here? What is it? A complete list of addresses where Fat Face will be calling. All I have to do is nobble him, put him out of action, then I can deliver this sack of goodies myself. How can I help? You can help by staying here and staying out of trouble. And take off that ridiculous outfit. No, I rather like it. Ho, ho, ho. Ah, let's see who's first on the list. Master Edward Johnson, 30 Cherry Blossom Gardens, London, England. Right, Master Edward Johnson, get ready. A surprise guest is about to drop in. Young Master Edward, what a lovely job you've made of the room. Look at this. Do you really like it, Mrs Jolly? Like it? I think it's wonderful. What a pity your parents won't be here to see it. Do they have Christmas in India, Mrs Jolly? Well, I don't know about that. But what I do know is that your mother and father will both be thinking of you tomorrow. I wish they were here. Oh, I know you do, Edward. I know you do. But they'll be back in the new year. And until then, it's just you and me. So what do you say? We keep our spirits up and have our wonderful Christmas all to ourselves. I suppose so. Now, how's the tree doing? It's fine, but I can't seem to find the fairy to go on the top. Well, we can't have Christmas without a fairy, can we? I tell you what, while I'm hunting for it, you go upstairs and tidy your room. Aww. You want it nice for Father Christmas, don't you? Yes. Well, off you go. Poor wee soul. floating out of the sky on an umbrella. Look up there. Oh, she's gone. She was there. You are a one, Master Edward. You are a one. I saw her. You're just overexcited, that's all. I did. Well, if you say so, Master Edward. Now, would you kindly tidy your room? Otherwise, Father Christmas won't come down the chimney and fill up your stocking. Now, do it. Do you think I might see Father Christmas, Mrs Jolly? Oh, you'll be fast asleep before he comes. I'm going to stay awake all night long, Mrs Jolly, and I'll pretend to be asleep, but I'll keep one eye open. That way I'll see him, won't I? Well, you might, Edward. You just might. T-shirt! Gosh, what are you doing there? Here, let me help you up. <laughs> What happened? What are we doing here? Get up, you blockhead! Get up! I remember. That box! Santa Claus! Shut up! Just shut up! Yes, I remember now. You're here to nobble Santa Claus. Will you button your lip or I'll button it for you? You won't get away with this. Oh, no! Who's gonna stop me? Me! You! I will stop you, Teabag. Just see if I don't. T-shirt! Come back here! Oh, Blast that dratted boy! No time to waste on him now. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Well, here I am, a smidgen on the tardy side, but better late than never, I'm sure you'll agree. Oh, my, what a lovely house. Now, before we go any further, let me just say that I am fair but firm. 
Spare the rod and spoil the child. That's my motto. Well, where is the little scallywag, eh? Excuse me, who are you? I'm sorry. Who are you? Mrs. Jolly, did you find a fairy for the tree? Oh. Hello. Ah, you must be young Master Edward. I'm right, aren't I? Yes, that's right. But who are you? Why, I'm Mary Pippins. Mary Pippins? That's right. Your new nanny. Nanny? Your mother and father sent me to look after you until they return home. Wasn't that nice of them? No one said anything to me. Oh, it was all very last minute. But I'm here now. That's the main thing. Well, it all seems very strange. But I can't deny I'll be glad of an extra pair of hands around the place. And the little lad's certainly been lonely of late. He'll enjoy having someone to play with. Quite. What happy times we'll have. Uh, Mrs. Jolly, is it? Yes, that's right, dear. Mrs. Jolly. I'm sure you must be dying to get back to your turkey plucking and so forth. Well, uh, so uh, you just run along and leave me to get acquainted with the delightful darling boy. Uh, have fun, you two. Oh, don't worry, we will. We'll have an absolute whale of a time. See you later. Bye. 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 All right, Buster, which is your room? Uh, upstairs, on the landing. Are we going to play some games now? No, we are not. I've got work to do, so you'd just better belt up and keep out of my way or you'll feel the back of my hand. Is that clear? Yes, but you Quiet, said... move. Ow! Ow! Get in there. Stop pushing me. Look at the state of this room. And stop staring at me like that. Didn't I see you? What a tip. Clear it up at once. It was you up there. I told you to clear up this room, and when I say something, boy, I mean it. Am I making myself clear? Tidy it up. You're horrible, you are. I don't like you at all. I don't believe you're a nanny. Nannies are nice, but you're a witch. And it was you up in the sky. I'm going to tell Mrs. Jolly. Mrs. Jolly! Mrs. Jolly! Children. Who would have them? Ah, that's better. I've got to warn Santa Claus. But how? I know how. Oh, she pulled my ear and pushed me and she said she'd hit me. What's all this nonsense, eh? You didn't tell me what a good boy young Master Edward is, Mrs Jolly. See how he's tidied up his room. What a clever lad he is. What? Well done, Edward. Now, what's all this nonsense you're telling me about the nice lady? She's not nice, she's a monster. Edward. Oh, take no notice. It's all the excitement of Christmas Eve. Now, don't you fret, Mrs. J. You go and put your feet up and leave me to get the little chappy ready for Betty Buys. No, don't go, Mrs. Jolly. Don't leave me with her. Now, Edward, don't be silly. Sleep tight. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. How did you tidy up this room so quickly? You are a witch, aren't you? Just cut the cackle and get into bed. I want you asleep, double quick, or else. All I have to do is wait here and warn Santa Claus. <laughs> Will you go to sleep? No, I can't. Lie down. Close your eyes for Pete's sake. Mother always sings me to sleep. Tough. Mother isn't here. I can't sleep then. You better sleep, you infernal brat. Can't. No song, no sleep. Right. Go to sleep, my baby. My baby, my baby, go to sleep, my baby, my baby. Edward, are you asleep? No! Ah, you, look, I'm warning you, go to sleep. Mother always brings me Barnaby before I go to sleep. What in the name of buttered buns is a Barnaby? Barnaby Bear, my favourite toy. I can't go to sleep without Barnaby Bear. Oh, this is a joke. And where is Barnaby Bear? I don't know. You've tied it up. Try the toy box. Fix some fairy cakes. I can't find any blasted bear. Oh, look. Here he is. He was under the bedclothes all the time. Say hello to nasty Nanny Pippins, Barnaby. Now, will you please, please go to sleep? I can't. Why not? Don't tell me Mother always does the Highland fling on top of the wardrobe before you drop off. No. Mother always reads me a nice bedtime story. Does she? Yes. Right. A nice bedtime story it is. And after this, you sleep. Get me? Or else. Deep in the woods where people seldom go, live the Flatterby folk. Oh, the 
crying out loud. This is rubbish. I like it. Keep going. It was early in the morning. The sun had just risen through the trees, and the dewdrops sparkled like pearls <gasps> on every plant in me. Oh, yeah. oh, come on, Santa. What's keeping you? Story, isn't it? It's the old duffer. What's the big idea? What is going on around here? That's cooked your goose, hasn't it, you vile spreader of joy, you? <laughs> I'm just off to borrow your sleigh for the evening. I do hope you don't mind, but I have a few presents of my own to deliver to all the nice boys and girls. Santa, how did you get in here? <coughs> oh, no, I'm too late. You've been nobbled. <coughs> where is it? The old crust couldn't have got here without his sleigh, so where is it? <gasps> not Santa Claus. Of course I'm not Santa Claus. I'm Mrs. Jolly. Who are you? No time to explain. Untie me. Right, hang on. Look here, chubby chops. You! Uh, I'll teach you to lead me up the garden path. What was that? Santa Claus at last. Edward. Mrs. Jolly, why are you dressed as Santa Claus? Why is she dressed as Santa Claus? What's everybody playing at? Shut up! This is a fiasco! All right, you, come out! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody! Another Santa Claus? Shut up, you little... What was that? On the roof! It's him! He's here! At last! Out of my way! Don't do it! Quiet! <whistles> Hello again. How lovely to see you again. And how nice you dress for the occasion. <laughs> ah, midnight. Ooh. Let's join the festive spirit. Oh, a merry Christmas, my dear. A merry, merry, merry Christmas. Above. He is all right. Bye bye, Santa. Uh, 
Merry Christmas, Mrs. Jolly. Merry Christmas, young Master T-shirt. Merry Christmas, Edward. Same to you too, T-shirt. Merry Christmas, all. Now, come on. Tuck in. Eat up. There's plenty for everyone. I wonder what happened to that tea bag woman, or, or whatever her name is. She just disappeared. Forget about tea bag. I don't know what happened to her either, and I don't really care. Well, I'll tell you what. I bet she wishes she was here now. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next here on Thames, classic Disney adventure. That's in our film in a moment, The Miracle of the White...